Hi again, this is Bob from Love Beyond the Sea. We're going to talk about music. Most people love music. I hope you do. It's um, very important to me. And it's something that can be used while you're pursuing a Filipina. Um, Filipinas love to sing. <clears throat> My wife loves to sing. And, um, of course, karaoke is huge in the Philippines. I keep reading it may have been invented there, and I wouldn't doubt it. Uh, Filipinas love to use karaoke. When I was in the Philippines for the first time, I was kind of surprised that uh, there were so many songs from songs that I grew up with in the 70s. Billy Joel, uh, I even heard a Lobo song there. That's not what I was expecting going to the Philippines. And I don't know if they're just behind for some reason with the music. There was some rap, but most of the music I heard was from the 70s. Um, music is so important to me and my wife. I have one favorite song from our wedding called Born For You from uh, David Pomerantz. And uh, Isa knows I liked it so much she bought me a smartphone, or excuse me, a smart watch, downloaded that song, Born For You, uh, so that I could play it whenever I wanted to because she knows that's very important to me. But music is important to Filipina. And here's some ideas that you might want to try. Um, for example, I uh, was sending her love songs, uh, music videos. I'd send them to Facebook. Um, I would send them to Skype. And, and you can continue to do that. But I also got the idea, why not just make a Twitter site for her where I would put all of these uh, love song videos. I would also put love notes on there. And it's just for her. And everything on there is a love song or a love note chronologically um, from uh, when we're in the Philippines. Could be a picture, an old picture that we were uh, together with in the Philippines. And then I, I put a caption in there, some kind of a loving caption. It's not music, but it's kind of related to it in a way that it's something that can appeal to her heart. Um, so I put a lot of songs on, on uh, Twitter. Um, when my wife was almost ready to arrive here within about 12 days i started a, a special countdown of songs each day was a day reminding her that she was that much closer to coming here um i try to hurry through this list the 12th excuse me day 12 um was the 12th of never i'm only gonna try to say that once donny osmond and probably others um 11 was kind of obscure uh number 10 Matt Redman had a song called 10,000 Reasons that I, I found. Day 9, Love Potion Number 9 by The Searchers. Day 8 was 8 Days a Week by The Beatles. I don't uh, recall what I had for, for 7. Uh, 6 Days on the Road by Sawyer Brown was Day 6. 5 Days to Go was the Jackson 5, um, since I couldn't find a song with 5 in it. And it was I'll Be There, for example. That's a good song. Um, day four was a song by the Four Tops called Ain't No Woman Like the One I Got. As we got to day three, it was a song by Lionel Richie called Three Times a Lady. Phil Collins was day two with a song called Two Hearts. Phil Collins also, one day before she was to arrive, a song called One More Night and uh, The Eagles. One of these nights, I probably played several of day ones because those were the easiest ones to find. On the day that she was leaving, I played a song from the group America called Today's the Day. Today's the Day, that was when she was leaving. And there's also a song um, called Ten Hours Between Us, if uh, you were to break it down that much. So this was just another way to incorporate you know, our love for music into her arrival. Um, you might want to go to some concerts casting crowns is a christian band that we both like they were here in town maybe it was this year last year i can't remember we went to that we're going to go see john michael montgomery coming up here just this weekend and i i don't know who's more excited my wife or i i know it's been 20 years since he's um had his hits but i'm really looking forward to that and the things like that kind of build memories i have our wedding songs on our desktop that i can play once in a while um, let's see, um, Tagalog, 
love songs or Philippine love songs, love, love songs from Manila. You can find stuff like that on Google. Play that in the background. Now, if she's homesick, maybe not a good time. Um, but once she's past that, I think, you know, she'll like these love songs. And my wife even plays them herself. And it creates a nice mood in the home. And uh, Christian music is another uh, kind of music that you can use. Um, just some ideas because these songs can say things to the Filipina that you love, the Filipina that you're trying to win her love. These songs can say things that you would like to say, but you just can't get those words out. So it's a totally appropriate way to express your fondness for her or your love for her um, in a song. And um, I think she'll appreciate that. If it's on social media, it's something that she can uh, show her friends. She can uh, have it there for a long time. So those are just some practical ideas of how to use music when you pursue your love beyond the sea.